all again to work in academy so in today's lecture we will discuss one problem uh, which came for neat 2021 latest exam and this problem is based on a chemical bonding chapter okay so problem is uh, regarding the uh, bond dissociation enthalpy okay so the question is the correct sequence of bond dissociation enthalpy of cx bond that is carbon halogen bond okay and the different options they have given like for cf bond ccl bond cbr bond and ci bond different options they have given let us first we will not look at options we will discuss uh, what is meant by bond enthalpy and then we will arrange them according to the given order okay so first of all see if bond is stronger obviously it will require more energy to break it okay the strength of bond will depends on size of atoms which are bonding together okay if atom is small in size then bond is found to be stronger if the atom which is bonded are bigger in size the bond is weaker obviously because if atom is bigger in size the nucleus will go away from uh, the electron cloud and nucleus could not attract the electron cloud strongly so bond become a longer bond and weaker bond so for bond to be stronger the distance between the two nucleus should be smaller and as well as the bonding atom should be small in size now in all these examples one atom is kept fixed that is carbon so whatever the size of carbon it is fixed for all four okay like all four halogens like fluorine chlorine bromine iodine now only the size of halogen is going to decide now which bond is to be a stronger bond and depending on that we will decide the bond enthalpy so bond enthalpy you can say bond enthalpy is directly proportional to bond length right and bond length is bond length is inversely proportional to bond strength okay bond strength see if i consider this to be a size of carbon okay this to be a size of carbon and this to be a size of fluorine then this will be a bond length between carbon fluorine bond now if i consider again a carbon okay a similar size and now we have chlorine okay so among the given halogens we have fluorine chlorine bromine and iodine so this is carbon fluorine bond this is now carbon chlorine bond somewhat bigger in size so carbon chlorine bond okay now if you go for the next atom that is bromine again it will increase in size so suppose again this one is a carbon then this will be a bromine okay so this is carbon bromine bond and ultimately the biggest halogen is the iodine therefore the bond between carbon okay and iodine is a very longer bond due to a huge size this bond is a longer bond okay so here carbon and iodine from this diagram it is very clear that the bond length is okay highest for carbon iodine bond the bond length is smallest for carbon fluorine bond as the bond length is smallest this bond is found to be very strong and therefore it requires the highest energy to break if you go further like carbon fluorine carbon bromine and carbon iodine the sequentially size of halogen will increases and due to increase in size of halogen obviously bond become longer and once bond become longer bond become weaker therefore they require less energy to break it okay so depending on size of halogen bond dissociation enthalpy is being decided so we can say fluorine is the smallest halogen having the strongest and shortest bond required most energy and the least energy is required obviously to break this carbon iodine bond so this is sequentially changing highest energy to least energy so obviously this is found to be in option b in option b you can clearly see cf bond ccl bond cbr bond ci bond as size of halogen goes on increasing uh, we can say bond become longer and require less energy this is the correct option okay i hope you understood it very clearly so today that's it so we'll discuss uh, some other questions which came for the again need 2020 from same chapter in the upcoming videos till that Thank you.